While this week's close up on the Carolinas has focused on agriculture in these two important states and in this latest installment, Southeast Produce Weekly.com's Chip Carter wraps up his conversation with North Carolina's Steve Troxler. Don't think a lot of people maybe are aware of the sophistication of the research component and the, the academic community and how that community and agriculture are working together to build a bigger, brighter future for North Carolina agriculture. If you look at the way we do agricultural research, it's probably different than most states or maybe all states, but uh, we have a partnership with NC State University and A&T State University to do agricultural research. And the way it works is we have 18 research farms uh, that are scattered across North Carolina to emulate different climates, uh, you know, different uh, topography, different soil types. And we're the farmers. Uh, the researchers come up with the research projects and they they develop the protocols to do this research, so our responsibility is inputs, the work that's done on these farms, and, and the researchers are free to do what they do best, and that's do the research. And that has led to yet another new opportunity for, for North Carolina agriculture. Tell us about the new, I believe you were calling it the, the PIC. We're working on a uh, food processing innovation center uh, that's at the Kannapolis campus. Uh, and the idea is we want to set up a situation where food manufacturing companies can come to North Carolina and do research on their, their projects, new projects that they want to do. And by doing this, we want them to take a look at North Carolina for food manufacturing. Uh, we at the department did a joint study with NC State that showed that uh, by bringing food manufacturing into North Carolina, we could create an extra $10 billion worth of uh, economic impact very rapidly. Uh, and, and that, you know, fits in very nicely with my goal of having uh, ag uh, and agribusiness a $100 billion industry by 2020. So when we bring the food manufacturing in, we're bringing in opportunities for our farmers to grow the products that these companies are going to need uh, in these food products. So this is something that uh, is a very tight-knit partnership uh, between the university system, government, and we're the regulatory people as far as uh, food safety. So, you know, we're offering the full package. Uh, we can go in for with the company to set up a new processing facility, work with them uh, so that they are set up in a way that it, the, the product is going to be absolutely safe. So we're going to put the full court press on to bring these companies to North Carolina. North Carolina agriculture has grown and prospered during the Troxler administration. Folks in agriculture here hope they'll have him around for at least one more term. In Raleigh, North Carolina, I'm Chip Carter from SoutheastProduceWeekly.com reporting for RFD-TV. And if you missed any of the close-up on the Carolina series, you can watch the full versions online at SoutheastProduceWeekly.com.